Morning, Donnie Walker here. I said the other day it was about time we did a new shop tour, the Walker Saw Shop. So here we go, we're gonna do one. I'm just standing out front of it. Uh, me and my brother are leaving today to go to the Okanagan, like I said, to my aunt's uh, celebration of life. So yeah, Johnny's working here today, Cheyenne and a couple of the mechanics in the back. It's my day off, I just had to use for running around. So let's go inside and I'm gonna show you some of the new stuff we have and, and all the stuff we have. So our front end shop, nice carving here we got out front. This is made out of sequoia wood. I got this log from Victoria. My friend Dan Ritchie, the famous chainsaw carver, carved it up. It's a huge chainsaw. Nice, eh? So that's me on it. <laughs> okay, let's get inside and have a look at some of the gear. Okay, here we are at the Walker Saw Shop. There's my brother Johnny over there. Hey, Johnny. Cheyenne over there, his daughter, my favorite niece. The only one. The only one, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, line up with some Husky mowers. They still make some mowers. Not the best quality in the world, but they're okay for consumers. Got some new Echo battery saws. They seem pretty zippy. I like this little top handle one. It's balance is nice. It's nice and light. See how they stand up? These battery stuff's getting really popular. We have a ton of it here. Mixing oil, chain oils at the front counter. West Coast saw display here of Gordy's bark boxes, air filters, falling spikes, and a whole bunch of blowers. These are all battery blowers here. Wedge pouches, whistles, cork wrenches, file plates, depth gauge plates, Wedge pouches, you already said that. Okay, so we got a little storage room here for stuff going in and out and extra equipment. Display rack of husk or still saws, cut off saws, regular saws, battery saws, still accessories, pretty much everything you need. We have very good stock, but it's been really hard to get some product lately. Topping saws, here's all your gas ones. Uh, CS350T, um, a couple of the small stills, 201, 194, the 181. Uh, looks like we're missing the small little echo here. Uh, I think we got more in the back. Visors. Here's some neat old display we got here with this log. Johnny's got an old climbing belt up there and an old hard hat we got from MB. Some of the old cork boots, I think those were mine actually. The new Husky saws, the new uh, 585, 592, 3120. Uh, still got a couple 395s, just a few left. I saw, I think we did an order for a couple yesterday actually. Gloves, bars, different bars for small mounts, big mount Huskies, small Huskies saws here, the battery powered ones. Oh, wasn't even a battery powered little cutoff saw. That's pretty neat. Some Echoes, um, don't keep a, every model of them, but there's a few popular ones that we like here. Pruning saws, loppers, accessories and spare blades for them. Here's a really old vintage set of uh, shears. It's pretty cool. Pole saw, like still. Here we got ATV uh, scabbards for your chainsaws. Uh, a bunch of old Little die cast or small die cast kind of still, still toys or whatever. Ch old chainsaws, the old delivery band that still would use. These are really neat. All the old vintage uh, still saws. Yeah, cool. And we have winches. We got these uh, battery power winches and gas power. These Honda mowers, they're cap Honda motors, I should say. Capstan winch, winches all the ropes for it and all the accessories, carabiners, pulleys, whole bunch of stuff. Golden Chainsaw Award to Walker Saw Shop. That's an old 08 still that Jeff got all goldened up. Jeff's Free Service gave it to us. Thanks, Jeff. It's just a display model. Got the offices in here. John's wife, Deb, works in here and then Sally. 
display of KM unit stuff. Oh, premix gas and Aspen gas for four strokes, two strokes. This stuff stays good for like three years if it's opened. Uh, great stuff. We sell a lot of this stuff these days. It's high octane, good oil in it, and doesn't have any of that ethanol in it, like Rex, Rex stuff. Lots of trimmers, curve shafts, straight shafts, all the Huskies, all Echoes, they're all mixed together here. Look at this poor Echo sitting here between these stills. All the KM units, attachments, uh, edgers, little pole saws, blowers, little tiller, more stuff. That's uh, this stuff's for the Echo, and this stuff's for the Husqvarna. Trimmer heads for every type of trimmer you can you can think of. Bench shafts, electrics, big gas powered ones, brush cutters, blades for them all for brush cutting and. Uh, Heavy, heavy, heavy grass and whatnot. Yeah, that's some gas. Husky hedge trimmers. Our robotic mowers, which we seem to be moving more these days. Toys for kids. Uh, toy blower, toy weed eater, toy chainsaw, and toy hard hats for, for little kids. Kid stuff. Here's some more. Lots of different batteries, too, for the Husqvarna's, the Stills, and the Echoes. This wall here is all electric still stuff. And like I say, we move a lot of this stuff these days. These cities around here, people are building houses so close together, there's not much line, so you don't need to be gas powered stuff anymore. So yeah, and they're, they're getting way better. Every every year here, the batteries are better, the machines are better. There's um, more pro type ones here, then you got consumer ones that you just plug in and charge up. They don't have the separate battery. So those are the cheaper ones for small homeowners. We got some Makita stuff too. Not a lot of it, but a few items. We're a Makita dealer as well. We just don't keep all their stuff. They have a, a ton of stuff as well. Uh, battery still more. Spreaders. Gas blowers. Echoes, Husqvarna's, and stills. There's an old uh, lunchbox from m &B years ago. An old skill saw. Those were made by Frontier in BC here, actually, in Trail BC. They made these little saws. Skill saw, 35 Husky. They made from made it for John Strad. They made them for everyone. They just shaped them a little different in different colors. And here we got a uh, little display of some wear, Husqvarna shirts, and a couple go-kart trophies that I've won. Eh, that one's first. That one's a third. And lately, I've been sucking, actually. So here we go. We got pressure washer stuff. Chain grinders, Oregon chain grinders. Um, we use to keep one in stock. Chain breakers, chain spinners for guys that are in camp or do their own stuff. Some logging stuff, some logging tongs, PVs, mauls, axes, bark spuds, uh, caution signs. Whole bunch of pressure washer fittings and nozzles here. Some Honda stuff there. Generators, we got Bearcat Echo. Uh, they seem to make a lot of good sizes. They're reasonably priced. Water pumps from Bearcat. Some BE stuff, Water, different water pumps. Rototillers. Electric power washer. Oh, axes. Got Husqvarna axes, composite type handle ones, wooden ones. Every handle you can think of pretty much for malls and axes for the fallers and, and homeowners. Fall, falling safety pads. We got all the can sway ones that are made here in BC. Uh, locally made, which is nice. We get them custom fit for different lengths of uh, people's legs or waist size. And we have them for, from consumers to the professional ones. And uh, ones for uh, firefighting that are uh, fireproof. More power washers here, electric still ones. Uh, a couple, a small chipper, a Echo. There's a fire pump that the Echo Bearcat makes. Uh, it's not a high pressure forestry one, but it will be good for consumers and homes for uh, fire protection, which lately in the last few years, a lot of people should have had them. Climbing equipment, got a lot of climbing equipment now. More and more all the time. Every time uh, we were dealing with some, he's dealing, Johnny's dealing with some direct companies now in the U.S. and, and whatnot, West Spur and other places, Sorrel and whatnot. Uh, lots of safety stuff, different uh, 
high vis raincoats and stuff. So we got ropes, packs, rope bags, throw weights, carabiners, uh, Mazden polars. They're like a rope puller, like a come along, but use a rope, uh, three quarter ton, 20 foot reach. Uh, real handy for guys that are just doing, you know, firewood or wanting to move a log to do some milling. All sorts of uh, saddles. Um, uh, what do we got up here? Swivels, uh, brake lines, um, flip lines. We got big ones for the guys that are doing single stemming, 16 footers, 18 footers, 15 footers, 14s, you name it. Uh, some pads, Linwin pads. Some uh, pole saws here, different ones, some really good quality ones. And then there's some of the still ones too, which are pretty good as well. And yeah, flip lines, porter wraps, lots of ropes. Old logging truck there, some guy made us and gave it to us. It's pretty cool. I made it out of wood, just a little miniature thing. My friend Dan did a nice mural in here too. If you look up on the wall here, you see it's all painted really cool. Yeah, logging scene, old logging truck. Our old buddy in the corner there, old Charlie, heading to work. That was a mural that we did years ago at the old shop in memory of a friend of ours that passed logging. Hard hats, we got uh, lots of different climbing hats now, petzels, uh, some still ones. I think we got some husky ones. Um, long grip boots, still, still boots. Some, some of these are safety boots with steel toe, high top and low top. We use them here in the shop, they're nice boots. Mendel boots. We got some Mendels. They're super nice. They're uh, definitely a few bucks, but they're beautiful. Really well made. Guys use them for climbing, and some guys even get them corked and use them for logging. Earmuffs. We have earmuffs here ready with radio wires. So uh, guys that are logging, they have to communicate with their partners or their bosses. They can we can, can come here and buy them ready with different wires. Uh, I think 3M and 4M type size wires for different radios. And we got some, what do we got here? Some new pants. Uh, who makes these? Base Pro. Look pretty nice. Cloggers, we got some clogger pants. Nice ones, as well as with the can sway ones here that I just showed you. So yeah, that's all the display area. Um, it's pretty big. We got probably the biggest displays on the island and the nicest. A lot of places are crammed together and don't have much room, but we we got lots here. So we got it all just laid up pretty good. All right, let's go check out the shop. How's your flower, Cheyenne? Oh, beautiful. You want some more? Yeah, sure. There's our shop dog. Hey, Branch, say hi to everyone. He lays around here and all the delivery guys give him cookies, hey? And then he tries to steal your lunch. Johnny's wearing one of Gordy's shirts. One day maybe we'll get some of our own made. Well, we do. Just not as fancy. Here we got a rack behind us here with more dogs, pro safety felling dogs. Uh, every different size, shape, fit every model. 200 Ts, 201s, 372s, you name it. Uh, loggers, tapes, we got the little dispensers. But then we also got the husky ones that are a more favorable one now. And tips for bars. Spare chains for everyone, every different size. Okay, we're in the shop. Here's my dirty bench. Looks like I got a few tapes to build right now. This is where I do, do my work. Thanks, uh, whoever sent me the Spokane Valley Fire Department badge. Thank you very much. And there's all my tools there. Right He's all snap on. Uh, Every different size Allen wrench, tuning screwdrivers, you name it. So Sam works here, my co-worker Simon. This is our chain bench. We break chains and make chains if we don't have them pre-made. It's an old arbor press my dad brought back from a logging camp from the early 60s. It's made in England and we use it for pressing bearings in and out and taking crankcases apart. We have all these custom made jigs here before we are able to actually order the proper tools for still or husky barn we just made all our own 
I use old oilers for pull, pushing the bearings in on stills so you get it set right to the right depth if you don't know how to do it too good. Pro saws to work on here on this bench. Walls of belts for every lawnmower, every tractor kicking around or whatever you got. These saws on this bench are all to be done to be walkerized. This is a whole cabinet full of carb kits. Every one you can think of for every different chainsaw, weed eater, whatnot. Bars, we got huge cannon bars, 80 inch, 90 inch. They've been really behind. We had back bars on back order for over a year. Uh, still lightweights, we still don't have any. Uh, Johnny's working with a Chinese company. We're getting our own lightweights made with our name on it. We'll see how it goes. We do have some Husqvarna new uh, white lightweight ones. They're made by Sugahara, not Husqvarna. They don't make their own. Oh, Mike's just going through with the new battery still. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Good. Yeah, so there's some big cannon bars. Well, above my bench, walls of handlebars. Full wrap, half wrap, every wrap you can think of. Every model the size. Husqvarna, still. John Thread. Heated versions, non-heated versions. And here's one of my coworkers, Scott. Hey, Scott, say hi to YouTubers. What are you working on, buddy? Oh, Hyundai generator. Oh, he's working on a crappy uh, Hyundai generator. Pain in the butt. A lot of fuel pump problems in those. This is a lift bench we use. It's for motorcycles or ATVs. We use it for tractors, lawnmowers, and whatever we're working on. Mike Newman, check hey, out hey. his YouTube channel. It's Ginger in the Woods. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't made any meat lately, but he'll get at it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, computer desk. More saws for me to, to modify. Get them done as quick as I can. These are the ones that I have to do, and I cross them off when I do them. So I got to... Got a few to do. Yeah, so we got consumer saws here that we fix for people. Pumps, lawnmower blades. Every blade you can think of for every type of lawnmower in the world. There's way too many. Consumer saws and pro saws that are fixed already, ready for customers to pick up. More lawnmower blades. Gasket kits for every saw. Husqvarna, still. Always try to keep one or two in stock. Still's nice that they come with the seals with the gasket kits, which is nice. I wish Husky would have done that for years too. Processor harvester bars, all Oregon, some Canon. Every every company has a different machine, so we have to stock everyone and we keep track of their machines, sizes of bars, so we know what to give the customer and the size of the chain. Lots of parts. This is all lawn and garden parts back here. And here we got a mix of chainsaw parts, trimmer parts, lawnmower parts, crankshaws, cylinder cases, or cases for, crankcases for cylinders, rows and rows of parts, all mixed in different varieties, but we have a map that tells us which room they're in. When you look it up on the computer, it tells us, okay, for example, I'm looking for a 390 uh, base gasket. So it tells me it's an HP 60. And in that in that drawer right there. So there's all my spare 390 gaskets. When I take them apart to modify, and a lot of time I rip them, so I replace them. This room here is another service room full of parts with a computer lookup. Cabinets and cabinets of screws, primer bulbs, spark plugs, every spark plug for everything. And let's go back here, another storage room where I uh, keep a bunch of old parts for old Wayjax fire pumps and trimmers and lawn and Blowers that are ready to be picked up and ready to go. Got storage of gas cans that we, so we can need more out front. We just come back here and grab them. So it's more of a warehouse. Lots of Aspen fuel, probably the best fuel you could use. And mixes oil, mix oil. Everyone likes to have something different, so we keep it all. I think it's all good. Aspen makes a very good mix oil. Um, Red Armor is good. The Still is good. The Husky is good. Everyone has a different choice. They're all good as long as you use good high talk, high octane gas with it. Don't use the cheap stuff that has ethanol in it. 89 and above, for sure. Okay, oh, here's here uh, my Swedish buddy is here today. I think I hear him. Yep, I hear him. There he is, working away. One Swede's working, the other's not. Automatic chain grinders made by. Um, Markison in Sweden. You can buy them through Oregon now. They put, they buy them from Markison and brand in Oregon. Test room where you see me run the saws. 
when I run people's saws. Dual port muffler going out to one of my customers in Finland right now. And our backyard where we got all sorts of lawnmowers that are being fixed and have been fixed. Tractors, lawnmowers, generators, air compressors. These containers, we keep a lot of our stock in. So there's all Echo new products, still new products, Husqvarna new products. A little wash station here. We wash people's equipment after, make it nice and shiny. A lot of people get them back and go, sure, that's my mower. Oh yeah, because we cleaned it for you. Well, junker saws. There's a, the junk pile of burnt up ones or ones that won't be fixed. We just keep them around for extra parts. Sometimes some old guys that like to work on old stuff will come in here and rough, go through it a bit and grab and grab the odd one. Like Bucket does sometimes. <laughs> if he wants an old home lighter, McCullough, I always save him those ones. Mike has a station down here where he works on uh, mostly trimmers, uh, mowers. Pretty much everything, he's got a lift here too. Like the motorcycle ATV lift. And yeah, Mount Benson in the background. It was named after the first doctor in Nanaimo, Dr. Benson. And you can climb up there at the park now. They've got trails going up there or you can four wheel drive up the back of it up to the top of the tower. Yeah. Anyways, that's all of it, man. So that's the Walker Saw Shop shop tour again for 2022. Uh, got a lot more stuff than we had last time. So hey, have a great weekend. It's uh, mid-July now. Can you believe it? And it's not very warm here today, but comfortable. It's not too hot. It's not raining. It's just right. Probably about 20 degrees, I think. All right, keep your saw in the wood, stick in the ice, rubber on the road. Check out the walkersawshop.com online store. And Mike, say goodbye. Take it easy, guys. Have a great weekend. Woo!